What's going on YouTube? It's Titus again, and we're gonna take one of my favorite decks into Platinum and uh, see where we can go with this. We are gonna play Salaman Great. Um, here is the list. It is not exactly perfect and more so because I only have two wolf and not three, but I don't wanna craft it and these are all that I pulled, so. We're going to go in with this like budget salad build and see what happens. Let's see if we can beat some some Eldritch or some bird. All right, we lost the die roll, which is kind of unfortunate. This is going to be hard because playing into a board salad really kind of struggles with if we don't have like a really good hand. We found an Ash Blossom, a Jack Jaguar, and a Foxy. This is actually a pretty good hand. One hand trap, though, might not be enough. Against Drytron. Okay, they activated Zeta Pitchy Natasha. Um, they want to get... This will get them another Ritual, the Ritual spell. Gosh, this is hard. Um... Because if they just follow this up with Alpha, I'm kind of screwed. But because they led with Zeta, let's go ahead and Ash this. Now, if they Alpha here, we're in kind of some trouble. Ooh, you might have the Cross Out Designator or the Call by the Grave. Okay, so he's pumping off regardless. I wasn't, I wasn't stopping him. Okay, so that was. He's down to three cards. He's gonna grab the spell here. But does he have another extender of any kind? So he's gonna grab Medionis Drytron here, and then he's going to probably link this away for Link Karibo. And then he's going to probably activate Gamma or Delta. No, he's just gonna straight up just go for it. He's gonna just summon Natasha. Interesting. He's summoning Natasha. Okay, um... Interesting. So this is a really weak Drytron board, and uh, we're going to activate Circle here. Go ahead and grab Gazelle. See if he has an Ash. He has a response. Oh, he's gonna maxi? Mm. You know what? I think that's okay. I honestly think this is fine. I'm gonna special summon four times. One, two, three. When normal summon is one, Bailinx is two, three, four, parallel X. So, wait. Bailinx is one. Three, two, three, X seed, four, Baguska. And we're just gonna end on Baguska, and I think we're gonna be good there. Ooh, lightning Storm, Spinning, Buffalo. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add Spinning to hand. Gonna go ahead and go into that Foxy. We're going to the Baylinx. I really could kill him if I wasn't afraid of Nibiru. Do we... Do we go for the safe play, or do we just try to kill him here? We're playing through Max C. Do we think they have a Nibiru? I say we go for it. I say we go for it. Oh. Hmm. 
We're still fine. I'm gonna go ahead and special summon Spinny here. One card in hand, now two. I'm gonna go ahead and special summon a probably a splash mage. Yeah, we can't kill here. So we're actually gonna special summon Wolf. We're gonna go back to our original plan and go make Baguska. We're gonna make Baguska here. He's gonna draw two more cards, or three more cards after this, but that's fine. The problem is, is the Drytron cards, like, they activate in hand and then they summon, so they're not, like... Bagusa's not, like, really good here. What would be really good here would be Dweller. Oh wait, no. This is still game. No, this is still game. We could still go for game here. We're just gonna go to Update Jammer. We just hope that they don't draw another Herald, basically, is what we're doing. So we are going to activate access code talker's effect. Targeting. Ooh, I want always on here. I actually wanted I actually wanted uh, that resolution to be different. Um Hmm, interesting. Okay. And we're just gonna OTK. He's done. Through Maxi and through Gate. <clears throat> I love this deck so much. It's so much fun. Let's go to another one. Um, but I do want to be able to always activate correctly because there I wanted access code to be chain link too because they can't respond to access code so if i was going to get negated i wouldn't have been able to get negated um they could have negated update jammer if they had the herald of perfection still and, uh, yeah i'm pretty sure herald perfection is not once per turn so and luckily they didn't also have the bureau so we're going first this hand is very bad um Man, we kind of have to, like, foxy and pray here, huh? Uh, if we can find a gazelle or a spinny, we're doing decently okay? Nope. And nothing. We found we found literally nothing here. So we're going to link one into Bay Links. And we're going to hope that Judgment Max C is enough. We're gonna try and maybe telegraph that we have a rage set because it would be a pop one here um, if they if they are familiar with the deck. That was a this is a very bad hand drawing all three max C. Let's see if we can play out of it. I need the engine pieces. Buffer low, let's go. Yo, is this a mirror? Let's go. Now I'm hyped. Looks like he opened better than I did, though. Okay. 
Can I activate Max C, please? Do you have the Ash? Nope, you don't. Okay. Alright, what do I do for confirmation? By holding the left mouse button. Okay. <clears throat> and then he draw two cards. What did he discard? He discarded Foxy. He's gonna use Fox's effect, pitch spinny, go ahead and pop my sanctuary. That's what I'm assuming he's going to do. But I'm gonna draw a card from this. Okay. As we saw in the last game, if I don't have enough uh, stuff, I can, I can just die. But um, if he doesn't clear my back row, I can just stop transcode, update, or, or the summon um, of one of the bigger guys so that he can't go into access code. Because I don't want to necessarily activate judgment on access code in case he chains correctly. You do not need to play this card, in my opinion. Um, this card is not worth it when circle is at three in the OCG. All right, Link 2 into Wolf, that's fine. Draw on frame, buff it, Okay, going into the Gazelle, pretty good. Draw a Will, he is going to activate Chain Link 1, uh, Gazelle, Chain Link 2, Buffer Low. No, he's doing Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, that's... Interesting. I would do it the other way around in case I drew Ash Blossom here. Because then I can Ash his Gazelle. Weird. Okay. Um, he might try to go to Heatleo. He added Flame Bufferlo. Okay. Link 3 into Heatleo. Now here is probably where we'll stop him. Um, he does have four cards in hand, but I think we're okay. <laughs> oh my god, we drew Spinny. Okay, uh... <laughs> Alright, um... We're just the best duelist in the world. We are gonna grab... A gazelle here, bait the ash blossom. That is fine with me, brother. Maxi, huh? Okay. Um. So you have two cards in hand. One's buffalo, right? One is buffalo. You have Jack Jaguar and Grave, Foxy and Grave, Spinny and Grave and Gazelle in Grave. All right, I basically am going to try to kill you. I think that's the play. So we're going to go into Wolf. We're going to activate Flame Buffalo and Grave. Discard Spinny. Draw two cards. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to activate Spinny and Grave. We're 
We're gonna activate Will. Will effect. We're going to summon a Foxy here. And we are going to go into Update Jammer. Same line, basically, that we did last game. I could, I could summon Parallel XC, which would be very, very interesting. Let's grab Fame Buffalo back. And now let's go into Access Code. Yes, we're going to activate the effective access code around a target. And we're going to activate the effective upgrade jammer. Do you have Nibiru? Because if you don't have Nibiru, this is game. You don't have Nibiru. Do you have Battle Fader? Seems like game. Do not have act activate the effect of Solomon Great Sanctuary there. So that's it. I mean, maxi judgment pretty good. And access code OTK? Like, well, I guess it's not an OTK, but access code. Um, well, I guess it is the one turn that I, that I came back and I had able to attack. Uh, I guess that's probably not what you call an OTK, but either way. Access code is really good. Silent Great is such a consistent engine, um, but we're not playing people with Nibiru just yet. And Nibiru is a really, really big deal. But two meta matches pretty easily in the books as soon as you interrupt them in the right spot to make a weaker board for them. And I feel like that's pretty much how modern Yu-Gi-Oh is now, is if you make sure you time your interaction correctly, you can really kind of slow your opponent down. And that takes a lot of time to learn. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you... Uh, like the smash button okay i'm done with that i'm sorry and uh subscribe to the channel comment down below if you uh like to play a less meta deck in a more rogue deck or if you or if you're liking to play the meta deck and what you're looking forward to in the future for master duels and everybody have a nice time happy dueling